Hi everybody, welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is April. This is Plan With April. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. Uh, glad you're here. Wanted to do a flip through. I am putting this composition notebook away. I started it in March of 2024. I thought I would fill it up in the month of March and that did not happen. So I wanted to just do a flip through with you, show you the different layouts that I did throughout March through June, the end of June. And then for the month of July, I have a new composition notebook that I'm gonna be working in. So one of the first things you'll notice, I did not change the front cover, I left it. I really like this look. I also cut this one down. So they come much, much larger than this. And if you can hear all that clicking in the background, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Wes is making tortillas. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, so I cut this down to an A5. This is a Midori cover. And then on the inside, I did put a piece of craft paper just to cover up the conversion charts on the inside of a composition notebook. This is my front page for March. Of course, I used one of Helen's stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then my goal was to use all of these colors, these this washi tape, these date sticker, the dot stickers for the month. This was the first first month I had done in this notebook. It's not my favorite. It really wasn't usable. Um, the numbers were too big. I couldn't really write in it. So lesson learned. If you are not one to use your monthly calendar for tracking anything or for writing anything in, this might be a really fun decorative way to use your calendar and not feel guilty for like not going back and filling it in. If you put the letters or the numbers big enough, you don't have to fill it in. And then this was a really fun layout that I came up with. It kind of mimicked the Hobonichi Weeks layout that I had been using. Not, not exactly, but I guess inspired by. So you've got your date over here, weather, anything that I needed to do personally, and then anything that I needed to do for YouTube. And then here at the bottom, I did a brand new recipe. I wrote it down. I have made this twice and we absolutely, absolutely love it. So then over here, I did my meals for the week, my market list, and then whatever I needed to meal prep. And at the end of the week, I, of course, I had like extra spaces. So I filled those in with washi tape, with some circles, just random stickers that I could find so that it looked complete, I guess. And you wouldn't have to do that at all. This, this spread was very, very functional and I really, really liked it. Um, and then I tried to do dailies. Dailies are tough for me. Saturday and Sunday are the days that I have a lot going on. Monday through Friday, it's work and that's pretty much it. I don't try to overcommit myself Monday through Friday. So having dailies isn't, isn't really the best for me. I did try because again, I wanted to fill up this notebook for the month of March. And then I saw this on somebody else's YouTube page where they were doing like highs and lows of the week. And I was like, oh, I really like that. Except I don't really like to write down my lows. Like I don't, I don't want it, I don't want it written down. Like I don't want a permanent highs, sure. And then I went through a pencil week. Do you guys remember this? <laughs> where I was doing everything I possibly could in pencil. It was fun to do. It kind of smudges. I do like the look of, of lead. I like the pencil look. Um, this was another layout. Here you've got the personal and then you've got uh, business, but this was more work. And then I put uh, dinners in here, a to-do list here, market list here, and then meal prep. So I did try to go back and redo this one. I still like this better. And I don't know if it's because it's more decorative but I like, I like it better. And then again, I'm trying to do the dailies, trying to find my stride with that. And you're gonna find out with me. I, I just, I didn't, the highs and lows didn't work. This was the first time, this was so much fun. So um, a member of the community here had asked if I'd ever done a weekly layout horizontal that was hourly. 
and not horizontal. Yeah, no, yeah, horizontal. And I never had. So I had to put my thinking cap on to figure out how I was going to do this because I'd never seen it before. I had never done it before. And I will tell you, this layout quickly became my favorite. So you have the days of the week down the side. And I combined Saturday and Sunday, not intentionally. I just didn't count out perfectly. And then I did the weather, of course. And then you've got 6 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8. And those are the hours for the planner and then lunch and dinner over here. So I think what I liked most about this is I could fill in my work and I knew that was going on and then I could fill in other things within that time period too. So it wasn't just locked in. And I know I've said before in the past, I don't plan things when I have work because you know, 8.30 to 4.30, I am committed, I'm doing this job specifically, and it's not like I can break away and do something else. So if you struggle with filling up your planner with things to do, and I know there are weeks I struggle with that, this is a really good layout for that, a really good layout for that. Because in a two hour time period, you only have four spots to put anything. So like roughly either every 15 minutes you're tracking something or you can write something in larger letters if it's going to take you that whole time block. That's not true. That would be every half hour. <laughs> My math wasn't math in there. Anyway, you can fill it with stickers. I love, I love this layout. And I do it quite a bit in this notebook. Again, we're back to the dailies. Again, I'm not committed to them. And I originally think I did the highs and lows because I ended Sunday on this page and I didn't want to start a weekly on a blank page. So I think that was the reason I had this extra page and then trying to figure out what to do with it. In the future, I just, I don't think I would do dailies unless I really have a lot going on and I need to have like a running, a running list. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're back to... We're back to this where I'm doing the, the time. And you can see, you know, this took up a lot of time. These took up a lot of time. So if you're if you're looking for a layout that, you know, is, is kind of new, I would say new, and you haven't tried it before, definitely give this one a whirl. I really, really liked it a lot, obviously. Still back to weeks. I want to say I set up the whole month of March before really deciding what to do with the whole month of March. And then we move into the month of April. And I just used these page flags to mark it. So originally this was my this was my inspiration for the colors for April. And I did pretty good for the month of March staying within my color palette. Let's see how I did for the month of April. So much better calendar, I feel. This looks really organized. I feel like I'm critiquing my own work. Um, not a whole lot, lot of decorative. It looks like I've got a couple strips of washi and then I used the 312 Tombow. I know that because it's my favorite green in the Tombow. Did use some washi tape here and then there is a little bit of like smudging from the ruler that happens. It's okay. I didn't do a whole lot of anything on my checklist. And then it looks like I went in with, again, the, the time. So love this layout. Started doing some doodles, not a doodler. But yeah, I really like how this looks. I blocked out this whole weekend because I wasn't going to be doing anything really as far as like keeping track of time or appointments. We didn't have any. So that was a fun week. Then I just had where I needed some blank pages. I did channel ideas, more ideas. I put down some stickers that I had got in from AliExpress. This is completely me. Like I will pop in a brainstorm or a brain dump or if I'm watching something on YouTube or Netflix and I need to take notes, I'll just grab my notebook and fill it in and then start planning again. So this looks like it is April 8th through 14th. I must have wanted to do a blue week. So I don't know if this is my least favorite layout now after I've experienced them, but 
it works for a checklist. I forgot to put in the weather, but it really doesn't work to like keep track of things. So if you've got a busy week where you just need to check things off, almost like an Alistair method, this would work really, really well. If you are new to planning or you've been in your planner for a while and you're just not sure what it is that you need to use your planner for, this is a really great layout because you can put everything that you need in there and then kind of decide at the end of the week what really was important, what really needed to be tracked, and then you can move forward from there. This one, same layout, a little bit smaller, more condensed as far as the rows and columns go. There's our date, there's the weather, personal things, business things, different notes that I had, meals, chores, and market list. I do like the idea of having the chores. I like the meals over here. I do like how clean this looks. It's a very nice, I love the blue ink. This must have been right around the time that I got the uh, tool pens. I think I got a four pack and they were the blue ink. Really liked them. Yeah, because here's another blue week. Uh, this is the hourly, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Breakfast and lunch over here. I don't know what was going on this week, but it was, oh, yeah, I do. I was going to say, why didn't I fill this in a lot? We were spending a lot of time with family and on the road. And then we come to May. May makes me giggle because I had such a time doing this calendar. My lines were crooked. I was getting off on things. It was like, it was just maddening, literally maddening. And so I finally decided I was just going to make it look like I doodled the calendar on purpose. Like I did this line on purpose. I did some funkier lines on purpose. And then for the flowers, I did doodle flowers. And there's a video uh, also on my channel that shows you how to do doodle flowers as well. They're super duper easy. But overall, as I look at this page after it's done and after I look, look back on it, I really like the messiness of it, the uncontrolled chaos of it. When I was doing it, mm -mm, these pages almost got glued together. And I'm so thankful that I didn't glue them together because it's actually quite stunning. And it was like one mistake after another. But yeah, it's, it's a beautiful mistake, I think. And I'm really, really glad that I left it in there because I really like it. Also, I have to note, I did not do a May front page, which means I didn't really pick a theme for May color-wise. So, you would think it might be yellow, pink, and green, and you would be wrong. <laughs> it looks like this is the week that I had got the Bright collection from Paper May Ink Joy, because these, the, these are the pens, I can tell. Let me see if I have, I thought I had my white one. I do. So they're just called brights. They'll write on dark paper as well as light paper. Obviously the white won't show up on white paper, but they're a 0.7. And that is what I did this whole layout in. And then of course we've got the stark washi tape because why not? Uh, again, hourly 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. And if you need more hours in the day to track, you can make these columns a little bit thinner. You could leave out your dinner column and put it, you know, where the washi is down here. There's so many ways to customize this layout. And the great thing is, is if you're in a composition notebook or a spiral notebook, the sky's the limit for what kind of layout you can put in your notebook. And you're not stuck with it. So if you decide that you love this layout for three weeks and you have it for three weeks and on the fourth week you're like, you know what, I need a checklist or I need an Alistair method you can go back and do that because you have a blank page following this one. Like you can, you can do exactly what you need to do for planning. And I think that's what I like about the composition notebook and the spiral notebook is whatever I need to use it for, I can make it. So it's, I'm not in a pre-printed mass printed planner where it is specific what I have to put where. So I digress. This is my coffee layout. I took the colors of the world Crayola markers and an old, um, I think it's called Hui, O-U-I, uh, yogurt container and made the coffee rings in here. Used some of the coffee washi tape that I had and then Tombow's up here, no, Colors of the World, I was gonna, I was gonna say it's Colors of the World. 
date down here, did not put in the weather. And then I put everything in where it needs to be on the schedule. Added some stickers over here just to fill it in because I didn't fill in a lot of it. I do like how this looks. Going back, if I did this layout again, I might choose my brown Klenna instead of the black. I don't know that I'm filling the black with all of the neutral browns. So that might be something I would change. It looks like Wednesday and Thursday, I really just needed to get everything down on paper, another to-do day, and then I think I was just having fun with some new sticky notes that I got, again, from AliExpress. And May 13th through 19th, I went back to the business and personal dinner list. So, like I said, you can hop around from layouts, and I think that's one of the things I really enjoy about being in a notebook versus a pre-printed planner. And then we go to, oh, the actual Alistair method. This is for the week of May 20th through 26th. I must have had just a lot of things that I wanted to get done, and most of it looks like it's garden related, which makes sense because it's the week after Mother's Day, and that is the time to put things in the ground where I live. So plant-wise, that sounded ominous, plant-wise. So I put down what I wanted to plant and then marked off the days that I that we did it. I say I. Wes had a lot to do with the garden. I have not yet. Um, so when I say I, it's actually Wes. Garden earnings, these are the things that I want to be able to take from the garden and have on hand. So again, I just made a, check, a list. And then we pop into the last month in this notebook, June of 2024. And I had one of the Carpe Diem sticker kits and I just used uh, quite a bit of the kit actually. So again, I love this monthly layout. I pulled some stickers that I had from my own shop from years ago and yeah, just filled that in. And then we've got the first week of June. I did really, really like this one. I loved the colors. The pink was a lot of fun having dinner over here with the stickers having, you know, this is just a horizontal layout, nothing fancy. There's no categories. It's just a horizontal layout. And then over here, I've got accomplished and then a list for next week. Really, really easy. So you've got your week here and then like an overview of what needs to be done. July 24th through 30th. I actually just put this one together because that's what week we're in. And I had a blank page in between my notebook or in between layout. So this is our current week. We're going to take a step back and go to last week. It's it's a mess, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, so I've got, you know, my horizontal layout here. And then I, com I did Alistair over here for chores. I've got my market list growing and then what I need to film for YouTube these are sticky flags, sticky page flags, and I just wrote what dinner was going to be on those. Super duper easy. Monday the 10th through the 16th, so last week, uh, this was the layout that I did. I really didn't go back and fill it in. It, it pretty much, with the stickers, it told me what I needed to do, so that was a really easy and quick layout. It is a vertical and all I did was put the stickers down for the days of the week and then drew lines and that was it. And that made that made the columns super, super easy. The 17th through the 23rd, oh wait, that was two weeks ago. Oh my gosh. Okay, 17th through the 23rd, playing around with layouts and washi tape that I had found when I was cleaning up the office. And yeah, I didn't go back and fill this in. I actually had this whole week off, so I wasn't doing a whole lot. And that's it. So I do have some empty pages at the end of this planner. I am fine with that. I'm not gonna try to fill them in. Uh, if I get a whim, I may go back and do like some memory planning. We went to the coast, so I might put some pictures in here and talk about that. But for the most part, I'm gonna leave this book as is. I am going to remove the cover for storage because I wanna reuse this cover. And again, that's just the Midori clear cover. And then I will 
throw this guy on my shelf and it'll be done. I appreciate you joining me for this flip through. Let me know what you think. Let me know how many months, weeks, and days you get in your composition notebook. And yeah, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and I will see you down in the comments. I hope you have a great day. Thanks again for being here. I love you. Bye.